It truly is shocking, and the new information is just in the, cr the complaint here, the criminal complaint and the police report, and here's what it says specifically. It says that a juvenile student that attends Danvers High School, which is right behind me, assaulted and subsequently murdered Colleen Ritzer, that 24-year-old teacher, and disposed of her body near the high school grounds. This is the matter of Philip Chisholm by way of arrest. This is the face of an accused killer. Your Honor, the... The defendant before the court is 14. The fact that he's arraigned in the adult court. Investigators in Massachusetts allege 14-year-old Philip Chisholm killed popular 24-year-old math teacher Colleen Ritzer at Danvers High School where she taught and where he was a student. He's quiet, just kept himself. I mean, probably because he's new to the society, but I mean, he's a good kid. He didn't seem anything bad, like nothing out of the ordinary, just a quiet, normal kid. Students and family members say Ritzer loved being a teacher, at times sending out homework assignments over Twitter, Facebook, and her blog. Wonderful lady. Couldn't say enough about her. She was always the teacher to go the extra mile for students. So why would anyone, let alone a student, want to kill her, allegedly dumping her body in the woods behind her own school? I think that their sense of security starts to become shattered, you know, and they all just said, this is Danvers. This is Danvers. It doesn't happen here. The discovery of Colleen Ritzer's body was a surprise ending to what started Tuesday night as a hunt for Chisholm, a high school soccer player who'd gone missing. Meanwhile, Ritzer's family had called police that night to say she was missing too. As a result of that report, Danvers police initiated a search for the teacher and discovered blood in the second floor bathroom at Danvers High School. And by such assault and beating, did kill and murder such persons. The teen was found in a nearby town on Tuesday. According to court documents, investigators learned from an interview with Chisholm and video surveillance at the school that he had assaulted and then murdered Ritzer. In an adult criminal court, the teen's attorney argued he should be treated as a juvenile. In this case, the defendant wishes to have services to evaluate him. I think the case speaks for itself. That decision was not made today. He will be held without bail at a county jail facing a murder charge as a community struggles to answer the question, why? And of course today they would not uh, give a cause of death and they don't know exactly why, only saying that they have to be very careful about what they're putting out because not much was entered into the record today and there was no bail set for today. But again, he will be tried as an adult wolf and it's still, they don't know why, but we are learning today that he was indeed a student in Mrs. Ms. Ritzer's class.